Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This video is a quick tutorial using just 10 items that I have to create a on-the-go look, especially if you only have 10 minutes and you're rushing out the door. Now this is a look that I um, have been using lately. My daughter has started school and it's just one of those, like, I don't want to run out of the house not looking at least presentable. But yeah, it's it's easy, it's simple. I hope you guys like this look and stay tuned to see the to see the steps on creating this look. First off, I'm going to prime my face with Benefit Cosmetics Professional, and I'm going to apply it only along my T-zone and areas around my nose where my pores are um, more visible than others, I guess you can say. And next, I'm going to work on my eyebrows, and I'm going to use my... Um, Benefit Instant, Instant Brow pe um, Pencil in the shade Medium. Okay, so now onto my face. I'm going to use the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint SPF 15 in the um, shade Hazel. And this is something that I picked up uh, during New York City's Fashion Night Out. And um, I won a like Jouer makeover at the uh, at their counter at the Henry Bendel store along Fifth Avenue. And um, when I was first trying this on, the stylist or the makeup artist um, was testing different shades. And when we found the right one in this color hazel, she applied it all over my face using a brush. But you can also use your fingers, which I'm going to use actually. And um. Since this is a matte finish, like it was perfect to my skin tone, to the point where I didn't even have to wear concealer. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just applying this with my fingers all over my face. Now you can use a foundation brush um, when applying this. This is very... Um, this foundation is not too thick and it's not too thin where it's runny. Um, but I find it that using your fingers um, works well to help cover, get all the parts of your face in between your, like the deep parts of your nose, um, even here in the inner corners of your eye. And like I said, like I'm not going to be wearing concealer because since this finish is very close to my complexion, like I don't need to cover um, my dark circles. I mean, I probably do in this video, but um... I'm just going to skip the whole concealer part, and it even tones down like my acne scars, so you can still see it, but um, the redness has um, been toned down because of this finish, so I really like this a lot. For, so next, for my eyes, I'm going to apply the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow in the color Pink Bellini, it's pink um, shimmer color. And this is great for like everyday wear, especially when you're like out. When you're on, when you're in a rush, where you can just use your ring finger and just go over your eyelid, and then you're done for the day. And I like to use this sometimes as a primer for whenever I use um, my regular eyeshadows. So just to give some color to my eyelids, I'm going to use my Naked Two palette from Urban Decay, and I'm going to pick up the color Tees and just apply it into my crease. This will help give some depth into your eyelids. And usually I skip this part. I just, whenever um, I'm on the go and I only have a few minutes to apply makeup, I just use the uh, cream shadow. But um, if I do have some time, I will apply some shadow. Then for the inner tear duct, I'm going to pick up the color Booty Call and just apply it in the inner part of my eyes. Now I'm just going to use my favorite um, eyeliner right now, which is the Maybelline Line Stiletto. I'm just going to um, create a cat eye effect, but nothing like too dramatic. Um, next, going on to the cheeks, I'm going to use the MAC... Um, Mineralized blush in Love Joy, which I've been really liking a lot. And now that since it's fall, like I don't need my 
my cheeks to be like super pink I just want to have some flesh color on it and with Lovejoy like this delivers and it's really pigmented and it's buildable too so usually I like to apply the apples in my cheeks and bring it up towards my temples Then I'm going to use my uh, Maybelline One by One Volume Express mascara and just put coats and coats of the mascara on the upper and lower lashes. Okay, that's that. And then for my lips, I'm going to use the Burt's Bee. Tinted lip balm in the color Pink Blossom. Now what's nice with this um, lip balm is that it acts like a chapstick, but also it has a tint to it, so it's almost like your lip balm and lipstick it all two in one. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply the Matte Cream Sheen Glass in the color uh, Dynasty at Dusk. Here we go, here's the final look. It's very simple, it's very easy, especially when you're on the go and you only have about like 10 minutes to throw on your face. Like this is definitely doable, wearable, and it's also long lasting. And pretty much these were 10 items that I used, so it's pretty easy. I'll list below the items that I used here and I hope you guys like this look. Like I said, it's very simple, but it's it's easy to maintain. Um once you head out the door, you don't have to touch up anything besides like your lipstick if you want to. I hope you guys like this look, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.